All right, guys, and here we are. We're back with some SBF basketball game number one of season six. We're going to watch the uh, Chupacabras take on the Vegas Dragons. Battle of the Vegas teams here. A lot of top draft picks are involved. We've got Mike Honcho, Cayman Sider, Kiere Prince. We've got Christian Baki Galupi, a couple of notable second rounders, and Mike Williams. This should be an absolute loaded contest as you see the Dragons schedule coming up. Not going to be easy. Got a game against the Crabs and the Bobcats to look forward to. Guardians should be double win for them. And here's your starting lineup. Chupacabras, out goes Jatavius Cleveland, out goes Champ Hansen. Out goes Dante Martin Jr. In comes the Rooks plus Jordan Harrison. In my opinion, I think the Chupacabras got much better. The Dragons, yet to be seen. This GM really surprised some people last year, putting together a talented roster with very little time to do so. This offseason voted to be one of the worst of any GM. But sometimes you wonder, is he just playing chess? Well, we're all playing checkers. And here we go, opening tip-off goes to the Chupacabras. Here comes Jordan Harrison. Double screen set. Kick out to the corner. Javon Randolph coming over from Smashville. Pick and roll. Randolph came in cider. You should see a lot of pick and roll action from this squad. Came in cider. Going to have to put it up. He does and got it. First bucket of this young gun's career came in cider. Here comes Baki Galupi. He's the future for Vegas. Vern Beard opted out. The Frogs managed to win them in a bidding war. Baki Galupi now takes over. Screen set from Jacoby. Kick out. Bobby Johnson. Jacoby going right up and got it. Mismatch under the rim. Javon Randolph switched over to Jacoby Taylor and could not stop him. Javon driving. Honcho coming up to set a screen. Kick out to the corner. Darnell. Mike Honcho going to pop mid range. There's Cayman Insider with a put back. What a good looking shot from Mike Honcho, but a better slam from Mr. Sider. Fell out of the top 10. You know he's got something to prove. And there's a block from Honcho. The second block attempt, though, doesn't work in his favor as. Harvey Rodman's able to lay it up and in. And that's a very underrated move that the Dragons made this season. Going over to grab Harvey Rodman was huge. Very good player for the Rattlesnakes. Very big reason the Rattlesnakes won a championship. And now he's here in Vegas. Javon going to have to do something. He's going to pull three ball. That's open off the front of the rim. Can't get it to go. Baki Kalupi. Good pass to Jacoby Taylor. Dragons take the lead. What a great feed there from Baki Galupi. Pass around up top. Came Sider has it. They get it over to Jordan. Honcho wants it down low. He's calling for it. Pick and roll now. Javon and Honcho. Honcho really wants it. There he goes. They're going to give it to him. The number three overall draft pick with a spin move. Shot clock violation. Hancho, beautiful execution. Took about a half a second too long, though. I mean, I blame the offense for not getting it to him sooner. Hancho wanted it. He knew what he was going to do. As soon as he caught it, he made his move. But Jordan Harrison, Javon Randolph just wouldn't drop the ball down to him. You better put the ball in your number three overall, number four overall pick. No, number two. Excuse me, guys. Number two overall pick's hands more often. Baki Galupi, alley -oop, Harvey Rodman, that's good. And this is a side of Baki Galupi we did not see last season. Facilitating. At Mississippi State, he was known for his rebounding, rebounding, and more rebounding. Right now, he's facilitating. Javon, quick pull, mid-range jumper, that's good. Good-looking shot. Shooting is something the Chupacabras have already always struggled with 
and Javon Randolph cleans that up for sure. Jack Moon takes a screen from Harvey. Jack driving. Hacho, another block. Throw another block on that stat sheet. Hancho has two already. Mr. Mike Hancho, Mr. Josh Robinson. That could be the rivalry we talk about for years to come. Both centers phenomenal at what they do in the game. Hancho may be a little bit better at scoring. Robinson a little better down low in terms of rebounding rim protecting and I know Honcho's rim protecting is going to have a higher ceiling than Robinson in my opinion you got to remember the difference between the two players Honcho did what he did last season with minimal upgrades Robinson did it max upgrades almost so I'm really excited to see what Honcho's going to do when he decides to upgrade his player to the max and oh, by the way, there's another block there from Mike Honcho. The entire Chupacabras team is hot. Except for Darnell, the guy that they keep getting the ball to. Interesting decision. They find Cayman Sider. He puts it up over Jacoby. This is a tough matchup for the Rook. Jacoby Taylor, an all-time great here in the SPF. Started with the A-Town Assassins. Moved over to the... Smashville Tornadoes and then traded to the Dragons last season. Came in Cider with a good matchup down low. Got it. Great pass from Jordan Harrison. Jacoby Taylor, just one of the best power forwards in the game. Going up against probably the youngest best power forward in the game. Great matchup. You've got old school versus new school. I love to see it. Bobby Johnson looking to go past Darnell. Instead, he loses it. Here comes Darnell. Darnell wide open for three. He's not going to take it. A little too conservative. Pick and roll with Honcho. He finds Honcho. Honcho pumps once. Goes up strong. Got it. Through the contact. This big man duo for Sin City is fantastic so far. Honcho with his rim protection and came insider offensively has been fantastic Bobby kicks it over to Jack Moon Jack pick and roll Jacoby Taylor over to Baki Galupi Christian double cross looking for somebody pick and roll action with Harvey he goes up strong another block Mike Honcho is erasing everybody's shots at the rim and here comes a whole bunch of subs out comes Baki Galupi in comes Cody Mason Yuri Kasparov, Preston Hunter. I mean, Stuart Cotton's there too, kind of. Mike Hancho down low, picked up and blocked. Home team ball. May have been Andor Kafka. Wait to see that name on the back of the jersey to be 100% sure. Getting used to some of these new faces. We've got the same play. Uh, we've got the same faces, just in new places this season. Kiere Prince checking in now for the Chupacabras. Kiere is all offense. Santos. Now Louis Olsen runs up and gets the steal. Here comes Kiere. Up court Dante Martin. Over to Kiere again. Bounce pass Darnell Turner. Over to Sean Rackley. They're going to give it back to Kiere. Probably going to let him do something here. Four seconds left. You need to get the ball back to Kiere's hands. He's your scorer on this bench unit. Missed shot, Dante. Rebound, Louie. Swatted. That's another one. I am not sure who that is down there rim protecting as I see Andor Kafka is somebody else. Whoever it is, though, is doing a great job. This is Andor guarding Louie Olsen right now. Rackley. Mid range territory. Gets it to Dante. Pulls a three and got it. What a good free agent signing to bring Dante Martin Jr. back. This guy way exceeded expectations last season. 
Uh, he had a lot of fun playing here with the Chupacabras. He said he wanted to return, and the GM made it happen. He's not going to be a starter anymore. And that's going to be a charging foul as Kiere Prince stands strong, keeps his feet under him. Great defensive play there from an offensive monster. You love to see it. Here comes Mike Williams into the game for the first time. Also a rookie out of USC, I believe. And to the rim. Oh, that's Yuri Kasparov who's sh blocking shots. Yuri, I promise you, if you end up being good for the Dragons, I will be upset. You were terrible for the Bobcats, terrible for the Talons. If you're somehow good here, I mean, he's erased two shots already, has a steal. I mean, so far, he looks fantastic. Kieran Prince going to pull a mid-range jumper, no good. Jump shooting not looking great tonight from either team. Here's Yuri Kasparov up top. The free agency warrior. No matter how bad he plays during the season, for some reason, somebody always wants him. Everybody always feels like this could be my year. And Yuri loses it. Louis Olsen from the logo. Can't get it that time. We've got a couple seconds of a break, and then we'll be back with second quarter basketball. Catch you guys in a few minutes. And we're back. Preston Hunter bringing the ball up. Gets it over to Stuart Cotton. Preston Hunter, former Tornado as well. Tornado's basically cleaning house this year. Kasparov under the rim. Goes up strong. There's another block. Louis up court. Dante Martin. Dante shoots a three. Doesn't get it to fall. You would have liked to see him set his feet before that shot, but decided not to. Preston Hunter, good move. He's under the rim, lays it up, and no good. It's a offensive showdown right now. Louis Olsen, he can shoot threes. Can't leave him that open. Kiere wants it. They give it to him. Chupacabra's offense, too many offensive weapons right now. And Dante gets it to go. Everybody being a little too conservative, in my opinion, for game number one off the bench. Williams, Louis, Kiere, Dante, they're all excellent offensive players, so the fact that they're struggling this much. And there's an air ball from Cody Mason, the former Lynx guard, misses everything. Mike Williams then misses an easy layup and got the second chance. He's just stat sheet stuffing. That's what he wanted there. The former Lynx guard, Cody Mason, with a terrible first shot for a... Uh, being in the Dragons uniform. And another block from Louie. Mike up court, finds Louie, up and under, finishes. Five point lead, Chupacabras. The battle of the Vegas teams. We're gonna call this the Vegas Bowl. Winner doesn't get anything special. Like I said at the intro of this video, Dragons, one of the most uh, questionable off seasons. They have lots of money, chose not to use much of it, went for cheap players instead on longer term deals as well. A couple of long term, a couple of one years. Then in the draft, they passed up a chance at Alfie Hayes in order to grab their guy, Christian Baki Kalupi. And here comes Mike Williams to the rim. Using that speed. They went out and grabbed Baki Galupi, although everybody thought that Alfie Hayes was the clear better choice. 
in my opinion, I think it was a case of blinders were put on. They knew Baki Galupi was going to be there for their pick. They didn't even consider anybody else when their pick got there. They were all Baki Galupi. And spin move, Baki, great move. Can't get it, got the rebound though. Second chance, goes up and got it. That was an athletic play from Baki Galupi. Had he finished the first layup, I might be out of my seat right now. He still got the ball to go in and got himself a rebound. So overall, good possession for him. By Concho going to go up strong. Blocked, but he got his own rebound. He's thinking about it. Five seconds left, kicks it back Javon. Javon driving, kick out. Mike Williams, three ball, no good. Kamen pulls it down. Kamen Sider then trying to finish. Can't. Honcho with the board. Can't get it. Everybody missing layups. Here comes Bobby. The Dragons need a score. Bobby, a tempo pushing wing, and that's why. Bobby Johnson, believe it or not, is a user player. User not too active, but he is a user player. And there's a steel jack moon fighting for the ball. Loose ball goes out of bounds, and it's going to go the way of the Dragons. Hancho so far looking fantastic in a Chupacabra uniform. Only question I have is why didn't they draft Alessandro Carter? Three points. I mean, we'll find out at the end of their careers, but I think Alessandro Carter is a surefire Hall of Famer. Mike Hancho should be a Hall of Famer. I don't know about surefire. Darnell Turner drops it down to Mike. Mike. On Rodman, puts it up and no good. Tough matchup tonight as Jacoby Taylor, Harvey Rodman, one of the best big man duo in the league, and you're seeing why. This is honestly the best test for this young forward duo that I could have possibly seen happen. And Jacob, time out, time who is that? Bobby out. Johnson? Bobby Johnson making a crazy shot. That's what he does. Just like that, thanks to a 9-0 run, Dragons back up on top by two. But like I was saying, Hancho, Kame, and Sider are the clear-cut best big man combo coming out of the draft. Both of these guys are rookies. And they're going against arguably the best veteran big man combo. So just a great chance to see what they're made of here. Get it down to Hancho. Hancho going to turn fade and got it over Rodman. Great shot there from Hancho. And that's what separates Hancho from Josh Robinson. You don't see those type of shots from El Rabo. Jack Moon burst of speed to the rim. He got it to go. I'd like to see a little more scoring out of these Chupacabra guards. And there's an opportunity there. Randolph bricks it off the back of the rim. Three shooting has got to step up for both teams. And Bobby Johnson is on fire in quarter number two. Back-to-back -back buckets and now a fantastic assist leading to the score. One plus the penalty, two shots. Five-point lead for the Dragons. Here comes Jordan Harrison coming over from Motown. Very questionable trade in everyone's eyes. Javon tries another three. That time it falls. When you're a shooter like Javon Randolph, you just keep shooting. It's like that song, just keep swimming, except with shooting. I believe I'm the first person to ever make that joke. Subscribe to me. First personal foul, second team foul. Checking in for the away team. Guys, if you haven't already, check out our football league. Ran by none other than Talon's GM. He does nothing but great things. Everything he touches turns to gold. Check him out. It's in our Discord. Create yourself a player. Go watch Crusaders lose football games. Dragons are just scoring at will right now. 16-5 run. 
offensively cannot be stopped. And there's going to be a quick shot from Dante. Got it. The Chupacabras three-point shooting already tremendously better from last season. Baki Galufi crossing over Dante. He's driving. Goes up strong. He can't get it. Great shot contest there from Michael Honcho. Mike Concho told me he enjoys long walks on the beach and playing Monopoly with his family. Things to know. As he throws down that emphatic slam. And got the free throw. Chupacabra's back up by one. Back up by two. Sorry, I can't math. A lot of interesting things about a lot of these rookies. I just love talking about them. Cody Mason embarrassed himself earlier. Tries another one. Misses that time. Baki Galupi declared for the SBF draft in the most exciting way. Made a sweet video. And there's another block from Yuri. Yuri Kasparov, and what a pass from Cody Mason. He finds Andor Kafka coming through the lane. That's what Cody Mason could do. You've seen him embarrass himself while shooting so far, but he is a great passer. Dante inside the line for two. Got it. Michael Bay Hancho going to pick up the assist on that one. I call him Michael Bay, not because of the uh, famous person, but because he's my Bay. And I do, in fact, give him special treatment. So, Dante Martin Jr., alley oop, lob to Honcho, he finishes. Almost shattered my game with that lob. Logo shot to end the quarter and the half. No good. All right. I don't have Bean here. I don't have Lion here. Normally, I do a Talons or Bean Shep halftime report, but today you're going to have to get the Assassin's halftime report. Guys, A-Town, we're rebuilding, okay? It's not going to take long. This season, we're going to be competitive. We might even mess around and win a few playoff series, but realistically, the finals are not in our vision for this season. All right, we got Ray Cortez, we got Yannick Rose. We're looking at a nice guard coming out of next year's draft to round out our roster. I think the Assassins have the best locker room in the SBF, hands down. Jay Blinko, Steve Carter, Yannick Rose, Ray Cortez, and myself are just fantastic people that are fun to be around. All right, we're going to be playing a lot of tall ball this year. Levi McNeil's gone. This is now Jay Blinko and the Goon Squad. Uh, I don't unless you unless Ray and Yannick take offense to that, then no, you're not the Goons to his Goon Squad. You can do whatever you want. But we're gonna play playing a lot of tall ball. Ray might play shooting guard. I know, I know. For those of you that keep tabs on what I say. I promised that if I drafted Ray Cortez, I would let him play his natural position of small forward, but I'm already breaking that. This man is so damn versatile that I can't help but to play him at the two. And here we go to start the second half with a Baki Galupi three. Facilitated there from Jack Moo. Darnell, three of his own. Can't get that one to go. Jacoby. Came Insider fighting for that rebound. Jacoby comes away with it. Jacoby, a fantastic facilitator for the power forward position. And great layup there from Mr. Moon. Chupacabras have got to tighten up defensively. It's almost like if Honcho's not involved with the defensive play, then they score. Honcho's got a great matchup against Baki Galupi. They're not using it, though. Dante, three ball, that doesn't go. Fighting for the rebound. Baki Galupi gets it. Baki Galupi, Mike Concho just went head to head for a rebound and Mr. Rebound himself, Baki Galupi comes away with it. You know 
Honcho can't be happy with that. Very competitive person. He told me himself one time that he was at Build-A-Bear workshop, making himself a bear, kid next to him. His bear got filled with slightly more stuffing than Honcho's bear. So what Honcho do? He ripped every bear at the workshop open, took all the stuffing out of each one of them, put them into his bear. That's how competitive this guy is. Couldn't even have the worst teddy bear. Uh, that story is not made up. It's something I saw as I was also there and I also was making a bear. Dante Martin driving. Cave Insider open behind him. He's not going to see it. He goes up strong. And Jaco that might have been the safe play. I know I saw came in behind him, but that could have been a risky pass considering the motion and the direction and how fast Dante was traveling. It would have been really tough to get that pass off. Chris Paul could have done it. And Jack Cook goes up with it. Jacoby Taylor slams it down. Kobe Taylor, so exciting. And here comes Cayman, quiet after that first quarter. A lot of minutes and almost throws it away. A lot of minutes for this rook duo. I really want to see Cayman get more involved. But I'm loving what I'm seeing from that man, Dante Martin Jr. <laughs> Stepping up in the second half, getting more buckets for his squad. For those of you that don't know, Cayman Cider has probably the best looking dog in the world. Recently, actually participated in a show off your dog contest that Cayman took home first place prize. True story, I was there. I was one of the judges. I'm a man of many faces. A lot of them two-faced. All right. A little tired. Making some bad jokes. But we're enjoying this opening weekend of SBF basketball. That's all that matters. Basketball's back and better than ever. Dragons once again overachieving with a lesser roster. Don't know how they do it. I would say it's game plan, but this guy doesn't submit a game plan. Cotton with a three. I think this Dragons GM just has a knack for knowing who plays well together. Putting the right pieces on the floor and letting them play ball. That's got to be the answer because this Chupacabra's team is stacked and they're going toe for toe. Randolph tries to find Honcho. He does and got the layup. Field goal percentage for the Chupacabras up by 10 so far in the second half. Cayman Sider trying to lock down Rodman. Great job staying strong. Cayman Sider doesn't look seven foot, but he is. Honcho with a steal, and he's gonna immediately get it back to Javon Randolph. Did not want to be caught walking with the ball. And quick score there. I thought we were gonna see a breakaway slam from Honcho. Instead, he was really smart and safe with it. Love and hate to see it. I was hoping Honcho would throw it off the backboard and give us a windmill. We got Honcho and Baki Galupi. Baki going up strong, gets blocked again. Just feeding this animal blocks at this point. Look at that mustache. Look at that block. Look at them sneakers. What a man, what a creature, what a thing. Here comes Yuri Kasparov so far. One of the best players for the Dragons. I don't know how, but he, he is somehow. Playing exceptionally well. Indoor Kafka, going to have to go up strong with it. He's a real tall guy. Kiere, tall as well. He gets that rebound. I really want to see Kiere Prince 
take over offensively. They're all clearing space for Jordan Harrison. Harrison 1v1 with Rodman. Blows by him. Puts it up and blocked. Rodman recovers. Up court. Here comes Preston Hunter. Double cross. Going up against Darnell. Kick out to Stuart Cotton. Ten seconds left. Preston, open lane, goes up and blocked again. This is a block fest tonight. And not sure who that was, but he finished well. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Again, as the season progresses, I'll be learning these new faces. A lot better. Remember, guys, anybody that's new to the SBF, all of our commentary is live, not edited. I don't have the time or the money to put into nice editing equipment. This is all just recorded and posted as is. Bloopers and all. You guys are getting authentic commentary from my, probably the best commentator in the world. And alley -oop from Cotton to Rodman. Nah, I'm just, there's one better commentator than me. One in the world. Can't say his name. He knows who he is. You know who you are. Harrison over to Rackley. Rackley up top. They find Harrison cutting to the rim who throws it down. I love it when big plays happen because my PC can't handle it. Gives you a slight lag to build suspense. Let's just call that the edits. Cotton three ball. He's on fire. Dragons just won't go away. Kiere, an inspirational story from UNC. Joined the squad late last year and then come finals time. Really one of the biggest reasons they were able to win it. This guy's offensive abilities exploded. And there's a three ball there. Kiere, instrumental to that UNC championship victory from a year ago. One of the hardest workers in the league as well. Constantly building on his player, constantly grinding. A good layup there for the Dragons, who still won't go away. Up by five, Chupacabras looking to put it away. And great crossover! Got him on his back almost, and then put the shot down. Up by eight, three seconds. Quick pass, doesn't go. Harrison, one last chance, can't hit it. We've got one last break, then we'll be back with the fourth quarter to see who wins game number one of this young SBF season. All right, and we're back to start quarter number four. Preston Hunter, a couple of spinny moves. Going to put it up, tough looking shot, doesn't get it to fall. And backdoor cut from Darnell Turner. He's going to go to the line because of that Jack of Boone foul. Shooting for the home team. Taking two shots. All right, back to 
distracted. Back now. Up by 10, a couple of good free throws there from somebody. Shot, Cody Mason, great awareness on that play. If you guys didn't catch it, caught the ball just inside the three-point line, backed up one step, that way he got the extra point. That is great awareness. This backup guard duo for the Dragons, very interesting. Preston Hunter, technically a user player, although probably won't be active. And then Cody Mason, a very smart player, very good facilitator, hot and cold scorer. Who's impressed me the most, you say, in game number one? Honestly, it's got to be Mike Honcho. I, I don't want to say Mike Honcho because I feel like it's easy to say the first guy drafted is the best. I mean, because that should be obvious, but I feel like Hancho exceeded my expectations. His shot blocking ability was even more so than what I expected it to be. And it really has proven to be instrumental to this team. Kiere hit one good three so far. Kamen, very hot to start the game. Shut down in the second half so far. I'd really like his offensive game to step up a little bit more. And there's a jumper opportunity, rimmed out. He's just cold. This is what happens when you uh, don't keep your scorers involved. The other person that really impressed me was Baki Galupi. Baki Galupi really showed that he has the scoring ability, the passing ability, and of course still his rebounding ability. He had one highlight for each of those categories. And honestly, I wasn't sure how his scoring would translate into the pros. And so far, so good if you're a Baki Galupi fan. And Jacoby Taylor swats it, and here's a chance for the Dragons to tie it. Kick out to Jack Moon, finds Rodman. Rodman pumps once, pumps twice. Gets out of the paint, goes up strong, and can't finish. This is where Vern Beard would come up so clutch for the Dragons when they really needed a score. Kiere, three ball, good! Heating up at the right time. Such an explosive oh, score. Kiere Prince, underrated. Everyone's sleeping on the Prince. This pick by the Chupacabras is why they have my best draft grade. Jack Moon gonna try a three. Not great at those, can't hit it. That could be big. Chupacabra score here. They could slowly put this game out of reach. Honcho's got a good matchup. They're gonna find him. One on one with Baki Galupi. He's gonna do the Dirk fade. Got it. 13 points in 20 minutes. Honcho, mystery efficiency. Bobby Spinner Rooney at the rim gets blocked from Honcho. They're gonna call him on a foul though. That's some BS, but we'll go with it. Just because Honcho's bigger and stronger than everybody else, and his blocks look like they hurt, doesn't mean he should get called for fouls on them. Randolph fires a quick three. That's good. Guys, watch out for these chupacabras. Last season, they couldn't shoot the basketball. They won games because of great defense. Well, they still have that great defense, but now they can shoot. Jack Moon has also taken uh, the next step in his career. He looks good tonight. That's a steal for Jack. Here he comes. Jack finds Bobby. Bobby making it harder than it has to be. A quick slam there could have put in the could have got the two points easily. Corner, Javon out of reach, got it! That's a 10 point, oh, just inside the line. Nine point lead, in my opinion. That should put this game out of reach. And icing on the cake, 
Dante Martin Jr. They need to slow it down. You're up by nine. No need to waste the possession. Or you could score really fast. Make me look bad. That's cool. I mean, I think the game is over because I don't think the Dragons have the offensive ability to come back from 11 with under three minutes. But I have seen crazier, and Jack Moon is firing on all cylinders. Rodman board and put back. This big man duo for the Dragons, though, they are going to be good for years to come. Time out, time out. Home team. And how about those uniforms, by the way? Dragons definitely have the best uniforms in the SBF. 100%. I mean, my wife's here looking pissed off that I would say the Dragons are the best, but come on. They were paid, they were created by a professional designer. All right, the other unis. All right. Trying to call a game here, son. Nope, not funny. Sorry, guys, for that loud bang. Junior back there is throwing things at the fireplace. Thinks it's funny, too. If you can hear the children laughing in the background, please ignore it. I think me talking about it is making it worse, but please ignore me too. And here come the Dragons. We're only down by seven, guys. Two minutes to go. Big block there. Baki Galupi has it. Corner. Jack Moon. Chance to get it closer. He does. Holding that follow through for far too long, but man, does it make me want to hold one too. Von Randolph still in the game. He's been hot. Poncho, a little fatigued. Goes up strong and blocked. Here comes another chance for the Dragons. Baki Galupi. Backing it down. Bounce pass to Rodman. And three second violation from Harvey. Bonehead mistake to cost his team late. Big defensive stop here for the Dragons. Game on the line. Harrison at Galupi. Big stop. Here we go. Dragons need a bucket. Jack Moon, corner, three. Bang! That's a two just inside the line again. Jack Moon, not normally a shooter. He is tonight, but you can definitely see that lack of shooting awareness. It's a one-score game. Goes up strong. No good. Rebounded. Honcho. This is big. He got it. Honcho. Big clutch rebound and the putback to make it a four-point lead. Oh, my. These Dragons just won't stop. Jack Moon over to Rodman. Rodman kicks it over. Bobby Johnson goes up strong and blocked. Bobby Johnson, one of the most anti-clutch players I have ever seen. That's how he spent his entire career so far. MSU, Rip City, the uh, Stingrays last season. Keep the ball out of his hands here. Finds Rodman, who gets blocked from Honcho. Rodman picks it back up, puts it up, can't get it. And Rodman will foul right away, get a little chippy down there. Chupacabra's doing what they have to do to get the win. Only chance if you're a Dragons fan. You gotta make a three. And with what you have on the floor right now, nobody should shoot this three other than Baki Galupi. I would say Jack Moon, but his on-court awareness has been so off. His last three shots have been just inside the line. If something like that happens now, you've got 
You went from no chance winning to literally impossible to win. And good decision here to have Jack Moon throw it, and he's the best passer on the floor. We're going to get it to Baki Galupi. Baki's got to make a shot. He's got to get a shot off. Pumps, puts it up, and no good. Rodman going to keep the foul going, but that is game, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, there's going to be box scores at the end. We'll get a chance to see how your favorite players played in the game number one. Congratulations, Chupacabras. Good job tonight from the Dragons. They played their hearts out. Really showed people that we were wrong. They will be competitive this season. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the Goliaths of the SBF. Check out that box score, everybody. Michael Honcho, 15-7 in seven blocks. Well, that's a little ridiculous. You saw it, so you know that it was real. Dante Martin Jr. leading the way with scoring as well. Javon really picked it up in the second half. Came in cider, seven boards. I, I didn't see that many boards from him, so he was quietly getting those rebounds. 8-7-2. That Most of that scoring was in the first quarter. Kiere did his job and was efficient about it. Darnell Turner, poor shooting night, but six boards for a guard. Other side. Jack Moon went off. Jacoby Taylor, double-double. Baki Galupi, 5-4-4 four four in game number one. He really impressed. Only 21 minutes. I mean, I guess that's on par with everybody else. Yuri Kasparov with three blocks. This man's just a mystery. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Enjoy.